Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the greatest freak show in Paris. Here you will see Siamese twins join in the neck. One likes to blow, the other one lick. A man whose face is thick with hair. Why do you look? Why do you stare? You think I can't see you there? Adelaide Herculine Barbie. I am 25 years old and I am beyond any doubt approaching the hour of my death. I am a fable. I am a freak. I am a word used in jest or books. I exist twice and yet not at all. I exist twice and yet not at all. 
I am an eye catcher, a head turner. I am invisible. that I carry on life as a man. He thought that it best suit my condition. My mother, along with the doctor, thought it best for the first part of my new life that I leave La Rochelle. I arrived in Paris in 1858 when the Can Can scandal, music halls ran full, Baudelaire nursed his gonorrhea, Balzac was a hundred novels underground, and I, a being without a name, bought a single ticket on a runaway train and arrived in Paris with a hunger and a thirst for the unknown.
and waited as long as I could. This was to be my full rites of passage, and my passage, I can assure you, was rightful. My well was brimming. The door was hanging off its hinge. I could see right in and survey this new world. It was like the final conquest, the planting of the flag. God, give me a colostomy bag. I breathe into my chest. The rest of me is filled with pee, bladder, stomach. It's in my bum, I can feel it. Just go slow. Saddle the tub, tilt back the hips, down the flies. You can do it. Dutch courage. <laughs> I'm going in. <clears throat> it's blurred, and a gin sits on a stench in the air. You're right off, bring my beast. I am tip, and start the feast. I can piss like you can pour. Three feet while I hear the door. But I don't care, I'll piss some more. Come on, on piss my song. Monsieur, if you can, you'll piss along. Monsieur, who's it? A piss like this could sink a ship. Monsieur, who's it pissing? I can piss like you can think. Monsieur. You are pissing in the sink. And so I started my new life, by night, by shadow, by light of the lamp, by the shirt and shoes I wore, by the back streets and fleets of whores. I am a spy once again in the world of men. I watch and learn. I am intrigued and repulsed and deprived and impulsive. I wash away all the thoughts in whiskey and late nights and watch women fold hands over tights and blur the lines between wrong and right. I shake off the parameters I grew up with. And I free myself from the chains that made a monster of me. Here, in the seedy underworlds, I'm free. And when the girls grow wet with song and leer and the night grows young with lust and beer, when the surge of hormones carries men home with slats in tow, when my toes grow cold, when I fake another drunken stumble, too drunk to fumble, but maybe next. But below my belt an unbearable hunger. I try to hide the tantrum in my pants as I watch them leave in the spill of lamps, my manhood close and far away. seen you here before, sweetheart. Oh, I've seen plenty of you, though, haven't I? Hello, soldier. May I uh, sit down? Thanks. Do you want a drink, sweetheart? Ah. 
You like this bottle, don't you? You like to run your tongue around its edges. You like it because it's wet. Yeah? <laughs> Don't so, you, uh, you got any money? Isn't it, you poor sod? You know, I like the quiet times. Got more going on up here. I can see you, thinking deep, beautiful thoughts. Feeling like a stranger in the world. Yes. Ah. Don't think I never worn your shoes. I'll let you in on a little secret. This place ain't for me. I was set to do good. I was bright. My mum saved all her money for my schooling. I was that bright. I can tell. <laughs> can you? What a charmer. Do you know what happened? Stupid bitch had an accident in the factory and the bastards left her to bleed to death. Oh, I'm the belle of the ball, ain't I? But look a little closer, and all you see is a little girl waiting for her mother. I'm sorry. I'm a stranger like you, sweetheart, in the body of a bony old oar. You've got to laugh, though, haven't you? You've got to make a little connection every now and again. Sink into a pair of beautiful eyes. Feel the heat of someone's body. Makes it all slip away, don't it? Come on, Romeo. Let's dance. You and me.
Ladies and gentlemen, keep your pity to yourself. Women, I have passed by in your midst without leaving the shadow of a breath. Men, I have breathed in only the fragrance of that golden cup. You have drunk to the dregs all its shame, all its dishonour and still without being satisfied. So keep your pity to yourself. You are to be pitied more than I, perhaps. Perhaps you repulse me. Ladies and gentlemen, for you tonight, the city's own hermaphrodites. me just before I fall, and her eyes, they are wide and wild and free. They fly around me and somehow they carry me. I don't know exactly what it was about that moment that held me, that freed me. But as she stood and sipped her vinegared fingers, as fish slipped from the gaps in her teeth, as she looked at me, she held no remark or struggled. She did not fumble to fix this crooked puzzle. She merely marveled at my fall. There, the first light of my dawn, the day that I am born, no spy. And for the first time, I see my place in this wild and woven pattern of strangeness. 
I see it in the eyes of a stranger. Her food bag falls to the floor. And I smile. that walk this earth with eyes like girls. They take the world you see and they turn it around. They make you see that your life is beyond your clothes. It is beyond the city, it is beyond the clouds. Your life is a million miles away. It is centuries ago. It is somebody else's. Ladies and gentlemen, we are all a collection of crooked puzzles, a freak show. We are generations of discord and broken beats. You are not a steady rhythm that I am out of time with. I am Adelaide Herculine Barbin. I am 25 years old. 